Hello and welcome to the New England Census Bureau. New England currently has a population of about 14,500,000, of which 51% are female and 49% are men. Currently, Caucasians make up about 85% of New England. New England is particularly known for its beautiful scenery, its prestigious colleges and universities, and its history. Plymouth Colony was the first colony to be settled in New England in 1620 by the Pilgrims. They wouldn't have survived if it wasn't for the help of the Wampanoags, the local Indian tribe who helped them survive the brutal, harsh winter of New England. It also contains five of the 13 original states, as well as it was home to many historical figures like Sam Adams, Paul Revere, and John Adams. It was also the first region in America to start using techniques that would later become popular during the Industrial Revolution. New England's largest city is Boston, which is where we'll begin today's door in Massachusetts. Welcome to Massachusetts, a historic state and a very important one too. It was here that the first battle of the American Revolution was fought at Lexington and Concord. Even before then, the Salem Witch Trials were held in Salem, Massachusetts, just north of Boston in 1692, where 20 people were executed after being accused of witchcraft. These trials shook the foundation of the Puritan Church in New England. Today, the landscape of Massachusetts has changed drastically. Earlier, in the early 1700s, acres of forest land were cut down for farming. But today, those forests have returned and now 62% of Massachusetts is covered in forest. If you ever visit Massachusetts, make sure that you visit places like Quincy Market, the Boston Aquarium, the Museum of Science, Cape Cod, Salem, and if you're a Red Sox fan, check out the Green Monster in Boston. Here we are in scenic Maine. Maine is well renowned for its beautiful coastline, its wildlife preserves filled with moose, and beautiful panoramic mountain views. Maine is quite a sight to see. Despite its rugged beauty, it wasn't until 1820 that Maine became a state. Before then, lots of colonists had tried to survive its harsh winters and frigid temperatures and rocky soil, but none of them had been able to survive. Currently, Maine is one of the most sparsely populated areas. It's also known for its shipbuilding companies and fisheries. It even happens to be the world's largest exporter of toothpicks and blueberries. We've just arrived in Concord, New Hampshire. Concord is the capital of New Hampshire, another rugged yet picturesque state in the north. New Hampshire's population of 1,350,000. New Hampshire also broke off from England's rule in January of 1776, months before the Declaration of Independence was even written. New Hampshire's geography is also very well known. The highest mountain in New England is found here, called Mount Washington. Mount Washington is known for the world's worst weather, with gale-forced winds, snow, and hundreds of tourist deaths. Welcome to the state of Vermont. Here in Vermont, the city is Montpellier, which is French, because originally Vermont was conquered by the French. And then after the British took over, they declared themselves an independent state. And they remained that way for 14 years until after the Constitution was written, and then they joined the American states. Vermont got its name from Samuel de Champlain, the French explorer, who named it Vertemont, which means Green Mountain. Vermont's average snowfall is from 60 inches to 100 inches, which attracts lots of tourists. Today, Vermont has the smallest population in New England, just over 620,000 people. It also is the world's largest exporter of maple syrup. Welcome to Rhode Island, America's smallest state. It's called the Ocean State because 30% of its area is made up of water. Rhode Island is, a, is well known for its beaches and is a popular tourist attraction during the summer. Its population is just over one million and all, most of the population resides in or around the capital of Providence. Rhode Island was one of the first 13 colonies to declare its independence from Britain in, se in May of 1776, although it was the last to sign the Constitution because it refused to do so until it was guaranteed that a Bill of Rights would be added. Today, some interesting facts about Rhode Island are that it's one of the 15 states to have abolished the death penalty, it has the highest density of coffee and donut shops in the country, and it held the first NFL game in Providence in 1929. Welcome to Connecticut. Connecticut has a very prosperous economy and one of the highest household incomes in the country. Its population is 3.5 million, which is the highest population in New England. Thank you for coming on the New England tour provided by the New England Census Bureau. Much of the information we told you about today was gathered by the census, so we encourage you to fill out your census.